So when you want to talk about misinformation, Mr. Snyder, you might actually look a little closer to American media if you don't like what they're saying. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Mr. Chairman, does he have the opportunity to respond to the gentlelady? Sure. Yeah. I didn't ask him a okay. question, no, her Mr. Time Raskin. Expired. You asked right. multiple questions. First of all, I'd like to thank the representative from Georgia by making clear with her comments and with her person that any discussion of political warfare has to include Russia, Ukraine, and America. Um, she's just demonstrated that point, I think, very powerfully. On the question of Nazis, I've written, written two books as a historian about Nazis and the Holocaust. On the question of Ukrainian nationalism, I am the leading scholar of that subject in North America and have been writing about it for 20 years. If the chamber is interested in the degree of far-right participation in Ukrainian politics, you can be assured that no far-right no far -right party has ever crossed 3% three percent in Ukrainian election. So of course there are bad people in every country, but by any comparative standard is a very small phenomenon. Already in 2010, Snyder wrote an article about Bandera and condemned the fact that the Ukrainians glorified Bandera at the state level, because according to him, Bandera aimed to make of Ukraine a one-party fascist dictatorship without national minorities. What is your opinion about using uh, by Kiev's government fascistic symbolic like using of swastiks, flags building the uh, Bandera statues? Uh, what do you think about returning of this authentic Hitler symbols in Europe, which has so sad experience with it? Okay, so uh, loaded question. So. On the issue of Bandera and Shukevich, what, what I think about that is, in, is, is published and has been for a long time. The first thing that I, one of the first things I wrote about as a scholar was Ukrainian nationalism, and in particular the mass murder of ethnic Poles in Volinia in 1943. When the previous Ukrainian regime made Bandera and Shukevich heroes of Ukraine, I wrote an article uh, criticizing that and mocking it on all possible grounds, and I referred to the two of them as fascists, which is what I believe. I don't think that Ukraine should be founding its tradition on, on, the, on these people. And what about Ukraine? Well, in Ukraine, Bandera is a hero, not only according to a radical 2% minority, as the Western media claim, but among the entire population. Hero, according to Zelensky, According to Poroshenko, Kiev City Council. The army. Young people. Bandera is a hero in Ukraine on an absolute level in all strata of society. but by any comparative standard is a very small phenomenon.